on the bus go round and round. Around. Hi. Come on, Come on, Did you hear that? That was a step. See? Come on, then. From here. Oh my gosh! Oh. Come on, then. No. Good morning. How's it going? <laughs> You come and say hi. You just want to get the camera, don't you? That's all you want to do. Okay. He said hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. That's nice. That's very nice of you. Oh. You want to do some walking? See you later. It genuinely feels so nice to be back vlogging. And although you might not have noticed that I've had some time off in the videos because I've just uploaded last week, I haven't actually filmed in like four weeks. The last video that you saw was filmed, yeah, hi, was filmed like three or four weeks ago and I didn't have time to edit it or put it up before going to Cornwall, which is something else that's happened in the last handful of weeks since I haven't vlogged. If you managed to watch, <laughs> if you managed to watch the most recent vlog, then you're one of very few. Because, whoa, 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 whoa. This is just gonna be impossible to vlog, isn't it? Is this gonna be one of my favorite vlogs to watch back? Yeah, if you managed to watch my most recent YouTube video, then you're one of very few, because YouTube age restricted it to 18 plus, which means it doesn't get recommended, it doesn't get sent to many places. So I did upload last week, but it's age restricted to 18 plus, so it's pretty difficult to watch and I think you have to submit ID and thank you if you watched it. I appreciate it. So Zoe and I have spent a bunch of time this morning putting together, actually you haven't seen any of this room at all. You might be watching this not knowing what room of the house I'm actually even in. So this part of the living room, you see all the time in videos. Over here, we used to have these two blue sofas it wasn't the most practical with the family growing, so we sold both of the sofas and the like little ottoman thing in the middle. And we've gradually been using this room for Otty's playroom. And now we've taken the sofas out. I think it's probably the biggest room in the house. We've put this little divider up here as well, just so we can keep, keep the room separate as much as possible. We've gradually been purchasing things for this side so that it's just the best playroom possible for Otty. With by far the best purchase being, this like padded flooring that comes in like puzzle pieces and then you can just slot it all together depending on the size of your room. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Because Otty's currently at the stage where she's learning to balance standing up by herself, potentially soon be taking a step or two. So we just want to make it as like padded and soft as possible. And then we spent a chunk of time today putting together this IKEA storage here. Zoe vlogged that so that'll be going up in her, included in her new video I want to say. And then we have still got to build this is a little table. So I'm just going to put that together now. Ew. Come and help me build this. Wow. Right, so that one goes here. Tap, tap, tap. Ooh. It's literally four screws and then you screw in the legs. Oh, so good. Where's Otty? Ah! Where's Otty? Otty? Ah! There we go. How big it is compared to What do we think of that? Those also got just new stools. I'm fully aware Otty is not going to be sitting at this. Anytime but soon. I um she just grows out of things like so not out of things, but like she develops so quickly that I was like we may as well just set it up. Because I feel like we'll blink and she'll be able to sit in the store, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Little legs off the edge. Check the rain outside. It's popping off. It hasn't been like this in weeks. As you, can, as you can probably tell from our grass that just looks like desert. The weather's doing me a favor with the veg patch. It means I won't have to water it tonight. What a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> that looks lovely. I've kind of got the tripod balanced in. 
on a chair, on a pillow, and on a box. It works. I mean, look at the shot. It does work, but guess what I came in here to get? Something from that box. Something from the cupboard. Oh, I can still open it. That's fine. You're going to have to ignore the fact that it is currently three minutes to three in the afternoon. Zoe and I spent a lot longer prepping Otty's playroom. Longer than what we thought. So, so lunch is a little bit delayed. We've got some banging options. These, these are not all the options from today. This is just part of my stash of previous options. So I've worked with HelloFresh on, I actually don't even know how many sponsored videos now. We worked on multiple videos during lockdown when I first started getting into cooking more. And past lockdown, still to this day, I work with HelloFresh. This video itself is sponsored by HelloFresh. We're big fans, we're big, big fans. So we've got prawn and tomato linguine. Crispy panko breadcrumb and mash. Roasted chicken and chili and chive sauce. This is a smoked salmon bagel. We're not gonna do it for lunch today, but it looks delicious. So, let me put these back over here. Apologies if you can hear the rain. We've got like a glass ceiling all here, and it is just torrential. So hopefully you can still hear me. 20 minute prawn and tomato linguine. Let's get the ingredients out. Courgette, linguine, chili flakes. Some of the tomato paste, passata, little spring onion, vegetable stock paste, cheddar cheese, garlic clove, and king prawns. Courgette in here. So if you don't actually know what HelloFresh is, it makes mealtimes incredibly simple by providing you with all of the ingredients that you need and also the inspiration to like be cooking meals that you wouldn't normally cook. Like I would never usually just purchase from the supermarket the ingredients to cook prawn and tomato linguine. I just wouldn't do that. I feel like I'm a little bit more safe with what I cook. There's 37 different recipes to pick from each week. So this is literally just one of 37. There are so many options. If you're not into prawns, or you're vegetarian, or you don't like some particular ingredients, there's 37 different recipes. So there is definitely gonna be something that you like. All of the ingredients that you're seeing me use here is fresh ingredients, picked specifically by HelloFresh. Also, one thing I should mention, since it's August, and Zoe and I have literally just got back from a trip ourselves, you can pause your subscription at any point and then nothing comes and then you can continue it when you get back. So if you've got a trip coming up or something in particular is happening where it's not fitting in your life to have HelloFresh at that moment, they fully allow you to just like pause it for a while. So you can do your thing, whatever that thing is, and then you can come back. Come back to the cooking of the recipes when it's fitting with you. 12 minutes, pop those on the side. Some chili flakes. got some good news. Zoe doesn't actually like prawns and this is a meal for two which means that ah uh, straight on my white t-shirt which means that I'm just gonna half it and have half for lunch and then half for dinner. Moment of truth. Let's see if I cooked it up well. It's tricky when filming anything that I'm working with the brand on because I want to say that this is delicious. I want to say like genuinely it is because it actually is, but obviously everyone's going to assume I'm going to say that because I'm working with HelloFresh on the video, but this is genuinely very, very, very good. And again, something that I just wouldn't, I would never just put together by myself. As with every video that I've worked on with HelloFresh, they give me a code to share with everyone watching, which I'm going to put on the screen here. It says cook with Alfie. And if you use that code when purchasing, in the UK, you will get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. That's the UK deal. However, the code's gonna work wherever you live. You're still gonna get a lovely discount if you use it. I need to change up my top. Got pasta sauce all over it. I need to get it in the wash. Switching up the vlog. Oh, it's currently, oh. One second, if the camera focuses, there we go. It's currently three days later, um, maybe even four actually, than the rest of the vlog that you've just seen. The day that I was filming just ran away with me. I swear, having kids, you can just blink and like three hours just goes by. I'm so excited to be vlogging today and bringing you along. 
because I wouldn't usually film days like today. And I know that there are so many of you that watch the videos that have a keen interest in seeing the behind the scenes of what I work on and especially when it comes to Future Self with how it runs. Um, and I think that's because what I've gathered from like reading a bunch of DMs and comments and everything is that there are a big portion of you that either want to start your own business and they're just interested therefore in seeing how businesses run um, and, and especially when it comes to small teams and very very small businesses like Future Self and then equally there's a bunch of you that purchase from Future Self and just have an interest in knowing how the products are made and like how the shoot's done and what the team's like and who does what and just keen to know the behind the scenes of the runnings of the company from a customer point of view and just enjoying the brand. So that's really cool as well. Which leads to today. I don't normally film days like today. I think it's just because there's so much pressure in my head for them to go really well and go right and also to enjoy it that I wouldn't usually vlog it at the same time because then a little bit of my attention is going over to the vlog and there's not a hundred percent of my attention into the photo shoot that's happening today. I want to show you more of behind the scenes of Future Self so I need to just get used to filming days when there's exciting things going on with the brand and today is one of those days. Today we've got a photo shoot for a collection that is coming out should know the date off the top of my head but I've forgotten it maybe a little bit more than a month we've also got another collection which is currently around my neck coming out prior to this collection that we're shooting today which is the new sweatshirts that have been added into the capsule collection so if you've seen the capsule collection which is the joggers and the hoodies that are like super clean like your everyday pure if like literally the comfiest thing you will ever wear that is already available on the website, that's called the Capsule Collection. We've just added in sweatshirts, like jumpers into that as well, or soon. They go live on the website on Monday. But yeah, today we've got the Future Self photo shoot for a collection coming out in like a month or so. The photo shoot itself is down on Brighton Beach, but not your typical Brighton Beach. It's kind of like under the edge of the cliffs, past the marina, if you know what I'm talking about. We've got a photographer, Polly, who we've hired in. When I tell you her work is next level, it's honestly, she's just so talented. I'm so, so excited to be working with her. We've also got her boyfriend coming along. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He's gonna be doing some lighting. Obviously we're shooting outside, so not like actual lighting, just more bounce in the lighting. I get so excited when picking the models, the photographer, mood board and all the shoots and everything because I just love syncing up people's styles. Like Polly's style of the imagery just couldn't sync better with these two models that we've got coming along today. One of them's come down from, I wanna say Birmingham. I'm really excited to meet them both and have them see the pieces and get chatting with Polly and stuff because I always see photo shoots as like a big collaborative input. Obviously we've mood boarded it more than you can imagine. We've planned all like video as well for the shoot, but I'm all about leaving a lot of space for just creativity on the day and just seeing what happens and just allowing the photographer and the models to just do their thing and see what happens. It's so important. Like so many of the best images that I've ever shot or shoots that I've ever been on have always come from the least planned moments. Just like, oh, that looks sick over there. We weren't planning on going over there. Let's everyone jump in the car, drive over there. And then you just, yeah, don't know. So Hewan, who works two days a week for Future Self, he's just joined the team about a month ago, doing all video and photography for social. I've worked with you and you would have seen him in videos of mine for like, I don't even know, like six years or something probably now. He came to Iceland and shot all of the Iceland video if you saw that on my other YouTube channel. However, unfortunately yesterday, he started feeling really sick and like really not good. He's been doing COVID tests, it's not COVID, but he is unwell. So he can no longer come to the shoot today as of this morning. So we've got no one shooting video. Luckily, obviously, shooting video is kind of my thing but i don't often do it like i can shoot video far better than you see in these simple little vlogs but i just don't often do it i'm going to be jumping in on the video today he'll probably still edit it when he's better but i'm going to be shooting all the video which i'm actually quite excited about because as i said it's not something that i often get to do but obviously i'm also kind of like directing the whole shoot so i've got to be in that mindset I'm also vlogging the day, so I've got to be in this mindset. I've also got to make sure that just everyone on the team 
is okay, but my camera just ran out of memory. So I was saying, the Future Self team, let me run down who the team is so that you're aware. We've got me, like overseeing and running the business. Then we've got Ella, who heads up our e-commerce and operations. Then we've got Brogan, who is our marketing manager. And then we've got Hewan, who heads up photo and video and basically runs everything visual that you see other than occasionally like the bigger campaigns like today and he works part-time and then we've also got somebody who's just joining the team first days today actually called Sophie who works one day a week and is our product developer and she just has the most amazing knowledge and experience developing garments so like making the highest quality most beautiful pieces of clothing so that's the team right I'm just I'm just pulling up now It's just started drizzling, little bits of rain, which is not ideal. So everyone's just gone to a little coffee shop over there to get out the rain for a bit. The crew we've got on the shoot today is working together so good. Like I cannot wait to see the final shots. So far we've just been shooting the e-commerce shots and we've switched things up where usually we shoot them inside against like a clean backdrop or the concrete wall. But we decided in a meeting last week to have them shot exterior outside. So we're shooting them here against this cliff face. That's all we've shot so far. And then, as I said, everyone's just gone for a little break, gone for a coffee. Um, and then when we come back, we're gonna start shooting up a little bit more lifestyle-y, a bit more playful, down on the rocks, potentially this afternoon in the water as well. Both the models are up for going in the water. I didn't think about how hard it would be to talk to the camera and like vlog like this when the shoot is going on. Because obviously everyone's like talking and telling each other where to stand and styling the pieces. But also we've got speakers playing music just to like keep the vibe going. And obviously I can't vlog when there's music on, otherwise the video will get taken down. Right, anyway, so I need to get editing this. Just walking back for the second half of the shoot. Just had Nando's for lunch. The location has like completely changed since we've been out for lunch. The sea has gone out so far. Yo, I'm currently carrying a clothing rail. If you're wondering what I've got. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's a wrap. Not yet. <laughs> I'm back home and it is the next morning. I've just realized because I'm currently editing this video that I didn't explain that the second half of the shoot day I featured in some of the images myself and therefore obviously I couldn't vlog the shoot whilst I was also in the shoot myself. Because I've shot this vlog over a couple of days, I feel like so many different things have happened. Even just going through it now and seeing Otty like playing at the beginning, that was only filmed maybe like five days ago or so now. And already I feel like she's grown up so much. Like she's so different even from the clips that you've seen at the beginning of this video. It is just mad how fast time goes and how much she changes. Otty's gonna be one on Monday. Like the next time I upload a video, potentially, I'm gonna have a one-year-old. Honestly, where's the time gone? It just goes way too quick. Anyways, I appreciate you watching this entire video. If you're still here now, drop a comment down below for old time's sake. I used to say at the end of my vlogs that were particularly long. If you're still watching, drop a comment down below saying I'm still watching so that I know that you watched all the way to the end. And again, a massive thank you to HelloFresh for supporting the channel, supporting everything I do for so many years now. We've been working together. I love everything HelloFresh is about. Genuinely use it a bunch at home. It's super handy, especially when it's like, been one of those long, busy days with Otty and I pop her to bed and then I'm like, oh, the last thing I wanna think about now is start planning dinner. Having everything already planned out and already the exact ingredients you need is a lifesaver. So definitely make sure you use my code I'll put it on the screen again now, Cook with Alfie, if you're gonna go check it out. And yeah, I'll see you soon with another new video. Appreciate you watching.